Hi, it's Phil here from Revive My Ride. In this video, using a step-by-step -step approach, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to safely jack up your car. Get it onto the axle stands, or jack stands if you're in the USA, so that you can safely work on your car. Whether it's for a brakes job, working on the suspension, or maybe carrying out an oil change. The first thing you need to do is access your car's toolkit. Grab the little hook that's used for removing the centre cap for your alloy wheels. And also grab the locking wheel nut key while you're there. Next you'll want to put your car into park, so if you've got an auto, put it in park like that, and apply the e-brake. If your car is a manual, simply put it in gear and apply the handbrake as normal. I also like to chock the wheels, so this is just some wood I had handy and I'll put it behind both of the rear wheels. Now, using the little hook from the toolkit, remove the centre cap, and this gives access to the wheel nuts. I like to start with the locking wheel nut first. So all we're going to do is loosen off each one of these. So uh, using the uh, wheel nut key, and a breaker bar extension, and in this case a 17mm socket, but you'll use whatever socket fits your uh, wheel nuts. Just break that one free first. and then go around all the other uh, wheel nuts. It's about a half a turn to break them free. Remember you're not removing them at this stage. Okay, so we're ready to start jacking the car. So you can access a lot of cars from the front. And what you're looking for is an area on the cross member so, for example, on this BMW, there's a, uh, a place here for jacking under the cross member. And this is what it looks like on a Mercedes, so the engine cover is there, but you can actually see the, uh, the jacking point on the cross member. But for some cars where you can't get access to the cross member, then you'll need to jack from the sill. So I've got an adapter here that goes onto my jack and that fits onto the sill nicely and prevents it from damaging the sill. So just move your jack in place and take your time and make sure it's positioned correctly. This is the sill jacking point. Okay, so go ahead and keep jacking up the car until the wheels are just a couple of inches off the floor. Okay, so now we need to uh, find a place to put the jack stand or axle stand. Making sure that you're not going under the car at this point, remember it's only supported on the jack. Reach in and place um, the jack stand underneath the um, a part of the suspension that you can see here. And then gently lower down onto it. You may need to adjust the position a couple of times as you lower the jack because um, sometimes the p position of the car moves ever so slightly as it's lowering. So the next thing I do is I, um, I put a little bit of load on the jack um, as a uh, backup. And then just check that the car is nice and stable and secure on the um, axle stand. Okay, so you can go ahead and remove the wheel now. So again, with the locking wheel nut, but this time just using a ratchet because you've already loosened these off. Then you can go ahead and remove all the rest of the bolts. By the way, the reason that we loosen these off before um, jacking up the car is because they're usually pretty tight and so the wheel can spin and also the, um, the car can move a little bit on the axle stands. Uh, if the wheel nuts are tight and you're leaning on them a little bit. Okay, so uh, with that, remove the wheel. And what I do is I stick this under the side of the car just as a little bit of extra insurance. You definitely don't want the car falling down on you. So now you have good access to whatever job you want to do. So whether it's the brakes or the suspension or maybe an oil change. Once you've completed your work, I'm going to talk you through putting the wheel back on again. So obviously you want to get it up onto the hub and line up the first uh, wheel nut. And go around and tighten them all into place just by hand.
So once I've got them all into place, then again using the ratchet, I just snug them up a little bit. Not fully tight at this point, but just so that the wheel's nice and secure. Now you need to raise the jack a little bit so that you can get the axle stand out. Remember, um, you know, not to go under the car because at that point, it, again, it's just supported by the jack. Now you can go ahead and lower the car. And move the jack out of the way. And don't forget the sill adapter. Okay, so time to tighten up those wheel nuts. So I have a torque wrench here. And in your car's manual, you'll uh, be able to find what torque the wheel nut should be. So set your torque wrench to the correct torque and lock it off. And then starting with the locking wheel nut, tighten it up until you hear the click, which is the torque wrench saying it's reached the right setting. Then go around all of the wheel nuts and tighten them all up. If you remove the center cap earlier, don't forget to put it back into place. And of course, put all the tools back into the toolkit once you've finished with them. Okay, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and also please consider subscribing. All of the tools that I used and other information will be in the description below. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, the two links on the left will take you to my latest video, around. and also to another one about how to change your brakes. Okay, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.